you are right. Customers' expectations are being evolved and changed and advanced every single day with every single interaction they're having with every single product and service with every single company. And what I like to say is that, of course, like you have worked all around the world. I've worked all around the world in many different industries. But the neat thing about what we do is the realization that customers only speak one language and that language is experience it doesn't matter where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's a really powerful thing to note right away. So what I want to get to now is when you say convenience, what exactly do you mean? Sure. Let's think about it. Why do they call a convenience store a convenience store? It's because it's more convenient. Hey, all I need is a carton of milk or a six pack of soda or beer. I can go to the big grocery store and, and go onto a lot with 300 other cars, walk into a store where I've got to run uh, from one side of the store to the other is approximately a quarter of a mile. And, and maybe I'm being over-exaggerating in some cases, not always, but that is a you know great place to go to shop. Great, great, but hey, all I need is this. It's more convenient just to stop by the convenience store. And by the way, uh, the convenience revolution was started with convenience stores back in the days of Justinian the Great, in like you know, 1500 AD, when he said that at every major intersection, a store must be built selling the items for the convenience of the citizens, you know, selling the items of necessity. That was in effect the first 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> it just wasn't called 7-Eleven. And, and I don't know how many intersections they had that the chariots apparently went by, but uh, there were probably fewer and farther between. But think about what happened in the early 1900s, about 1920, well, mid-1920s. Uh, there was a store down in Dallas, Texas that sold blocks of ice for the ice box. And that's what it was. Your refrigerator used in people still today. Oh, go to the ice box. That's an old term to describe a box that had ice at the bottom that cooled the whole box. And that's where you put all your food so they wouldn't perish. Today, we have the electric refrigerators. And this company sold blocks of ice. And one day, a guy decided to put some items on top of the ice just to keep them cold. And somebody came in, oh, you're selling bread now and milk. <laughs> no, oh, sure, I'll sell them. And hey, brilliant. If they want to buy it, I'm going to put it out there. And hence, the first convenience store of all time well, not of all time, there was obviously, but but commercially, you know, yeah. a capitalistic convenience store. And that company uh, was, uh, as, a, as an ice company, had, I think, about eight locations within a year. They all of a sudden expanded to almost 30. And then today, there's tens of thousands of locations called 7-Eleven. Uh, 